Yu-Gi-Oh! Unleashed Behind the Duels, Topia vs. Question Mark. Sorry it took me so long to get to this, but to be perfectly so honest, I thought it was like a behind-the-scenes episode because of the title. You think, Ridley. You can't just summon one for all just because you beat me. Oh, really? Just watch me. <laughs> hmm. So I guess this is what's happening after that, or in the past, I guess. Hmm. Where am I? The last thing I remember was when Ridley and then... Got knocked the fuck out. I'm free? You can thank me for that. You! Question mark! Sensei. In the flesh. Sensei. I... Don't. You're not in the right position to talk to me, Topia. Yeah, okay. You're not after everything you've done. You have brought disgrace upon my dojo. You have attempted to start another war with the fusion dimension. You lost the control of One for All Dragon, and thus its respect for you. And you have let that desperateness to prove your worth get to you once again in your duel with Ridley. No, uh, well... No, I, I swear, I... Don't you dare talk back to me. Mister, this life is clearly not worth living anymore. Mm. How? I, I... I have my ways. I know everything that you have been through. And not only have you shattered the trust of One for All Dragon, but you've shattered your trust with me. Damn. Quite frankly, I think it's about time that I act. Duel me. But, but, sir, why? Do not ask your sensei questions. I just did. I'm going to prove to you how much of a hollow duelist you've become. Mm -hmm. So unless you don't have any more fight left in you, I suggest you accept my challenge right now. Sir, I... Enough of your excuses, Topia. Prepare yourself. Okay. Let's duel. I'll uh, go first. I draw. I summon Masquerade Cyrus from my hand. I'll use its special ability. By discarding a card, I can special summon a monster from my deck. I summon out Masquerade Gomez. Now I overlay these two. With these two monsters, I exceed summon rank 4 Masquerade Shakespeareus. Okay. In my turn with two face down cards. It's your move. <laughs> Pitiful. What? It appears that this new deck has crippled you much more than I expected. Mm -hmm. The question I ask, though, is why did you change it to begin with? No answer? Very well, then. It's my turn. And. It will be the last turn. I draw! Already? I activate the spell card Foolish Burial. I'll use it to send one monster from my deck to the graveyard. I send to my graveyard Tyrant Dragon. Okay. Now I'll activate my Dragon Shrine. This lets me send a Rabbit Dragon from my deck to the graveyard. And by doing so, I can send another Dragon type monster from my deck to the graveyard. I'll send this one. Darkness Metal. Why is he sending all those dragons to his graveyard? Now I activate the spell card, Trade In. This lets me send White Knight Dragon from my hand to the graveyard to draw two cards. This is a missed opportunity to not use the OCG Now name. I summon one-on-one -on -one White Wyvern. Dragon. I activate oh. his effect. By discarding my Assault Wyvern from my hand, I can summon another one-on-one -on -one Wyvern from my deck. So? Now behold, Topia. With these two level fours, I build the overlay network. Okay. I overlay my two wyverns in order to exceed summon a familiar face. What? Wait, come forth, one on one. Great dragon of power, come forth and go beyond. I exceed summon rank four. One for all, dragon. Oh boy. No. You have a one for all, dragon too. Indeed. As I've said before in the past, 
There are only nine copies of One for All in all the world. The one I gave to you was a previous copy donated to me by a close friend. Now you can see how rageful I am if you manage to lose it. The copy that I have here is my own, and you're about to feel its wrath in a second. This isn't going to end but well. First, I'll discard Dragon Coin from my hand. This monster has a very unique ability. Now, for the rest of this turn, any attack value that my dragons gain is doubled. Uh, what? Now I activate One For All Dragon's special ability. By getting rid of just one overlay unit, it can gain 4,000 attack points. I'll get rid of both to Dragon of them Coin. to give it 8,000 attack points. It's going to be 16,000. And doubles that attack value, meaning it gains 1,600 attack points. 17,000 attack points! No kill like overkill! But I'm not done. I activate one-on-one -on -one Wyvern's Graveyard effect by banishing this card, along with any number of dragon-type monsters from my graveyard. One for all gains their combined attack. That's and dragon why I sent them all the graveyard. doubles that attack gained. Oh... Now, behold! 49,900! My life points can't survive that. Well, believe it. Now, one for all, dragon. Make him feel your wrath. Attack with Detroit Neutron Destruction! Ah! Should be like negative a gajillion. Absolutely pitiful. Even after everything I've taught you, this was the best you could do? At this point, I don't even know why that previous one for all that you lost deemed you worthy enough to wield it. Forgive me, Sensei. I let one for all's power get to me. Just thought that I, I, I... Do you honestly hear yourself, Topia? I want this. I want that. All the time you were fighting, you were fighting for something that you wanted, instead of what other people wanted. A true duelist fights for the need of others, not for the needs of himself. Are you actually going to fight for a cause that's not just for yourself for once? Mm -hmm. Or are you just going to continue caring about what you want? Unbelievable. In fact, I should take that mask off of you and walk away on the spot. You clearly don't deserve a symbol of our dojo. Of course. But I'm not going to. There are many people who go down foolish pathways and make foolish mistakes. And have but foolish only burials. But smarter people learn from them. Maybe it's because I'm still attached to you somewhat. But... I want to see if you have the guts to be one of those people. Wait, where are you going? Aren't you gonna... No. Think of this as your final chance. I'll be watching to see what you do with it. Hmm. Final chance. So the sensei showed up to him in some sort of spirit form in order to give him the motivation he needed to... Hey guys, Turn Esco Knight here. Oh, I hope you enjoyed this short little video. So basically, I just wanted to explain the gist of this new series. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Unleashed, Behind the Duels, is more of like a, a spin-off series, which honestly just gives me an excuse to do, you know, multiple duels without having to, you know, have these big stories attached to the video. Yeah. So, in other words, this is just, uh, you know, an excuse to do duels, essentially. <laughs> But on top of that, I also plan for this mini-series to be sort of like a, a, a series extension sort of thing. So basically, these small little videos not only allow me to, you know, give you content now and again, but they also allow me to extend the universe of Yu-Gi-Oh! Unleashed. Like, you could see certain plot points or whatnot unveil, or you could find out what happens to certain characters or... How they go down certain paths and etc. That'd be interesting. 
I wonder if there'd be or like they a multiverse just be an version for me to just do random duels. I don't know. Sure. That's basically the gist of this series, and I hope you enjoyed this first one. Um, when the next one's going to be released, I don't know. And also, as a short little update, by the time I'm making this, I've already done about half of the finale of Yu-Gi-Oh! Unleashed Season 2. Oh, nice. I don't have a confirmed release date yet. I still That's have fair. a couple more episodes before I start uploading it. So hopefully, I'll probably give you about, I don't know, a couple of these for the time being. Just to give you something by me. to watch while I'm away on this little hiatus. So, yeah. Regardless, I'm S Code Knight, and uh, see you next time. Bye. Question of the day. Are there any duels you would like to see from this series? I don't know. He's done most of the ones I'm interested in. I had to mention... And I don't really know which ones you could really get away with, I guess. And I don't know how you would justify it. But then again, the point of this would be like, let's just do some duels from a fudge of it. And I guess just, I don't know. Maybe like a what if duel of like David Talk versus um, uh, Draco Greendale. But I can't think of an excuse as to why you would do that. Besides, I don't know, an alternate universe where he fought him in the finals or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's an excuse. I don't know, I just like David Talk. I kind of miss the guy. I hope he comes back. <laughs> I think David Talk's like my favorite. Well, no, you're not my favorite character, at least, but he's just like, I like the guy. At least his deck. I don't know, I just have something that I like about those snooty characters that are just, oh, I'm so great, I'm so great, and every time they get their ass handed up, it's like cathartic every single goddamn time. I don't know, that's just me, though. Um, I thought this, but. Yeah, I don't know how you would justify that, but... Uh. I guess... <laughs> yeah, I... Hmm, I would I can't think of it, because I'm trying to think of something that could plausibly happen, but it's just like, I don't know, I guess maybe when you were in the group, when, since you have the group of characters separated in Season 2, you could just have be like, Oh, have them walking along and just be like, let's test our skills and duel each other or something like that. And in the individual groups of like, I don't know, the freaking like, insect guy was like, Oh, this will be the last turn, he said 5,000 times versus, I don't freaking know, um, freaking Jones Turner, the Joseph Turner, I can't remember because it's the same name in two different universes, basically. <laughs> Did I say the wrong one? Send the Pokemon guy in. <laughs> just fuck with people. It'd be quite the thing. I think the universe would implode. Anyway, yeah, I did enjoy this episode though. It was nice to see a little bit more in depth of, of Topia's character and all that stuff, considering we didn't see really that much of it outside of season one. So it was nice to see him have this little turnaround and be like, have him meet a sensei when he's, when he's at his lowest in order to, um, you know, bolster him up. Now, if this is whether this is a dream or actually happening, is probably it's going to be left entirely up to opinion. But. It's something that he needed, you know? It's a wake-up call in order to turn him to the good side, which is always good, you know, that's that's good, even though he got his ass mad to him, but, you know, still. I liked it. It's a good episode. I'm hoping to do more in the future. Again, sorry it took so long, but, well, not really that long, but still, it'd be like, I saw behind the duels, and my first thought was, this is going to be like a behind-the-scenes episode. I can skip this one. Nope. Well, now I know to look out for in the future. See ya.